Hey guys and welcome to today's first impressions video. Today we're looking at Emergency 112 Firefighter Simulation 2. I think. It's in German. <laughs> Everything's in German except for the tutorial text. Legit. I have no idea what any of this says. I haven't done German since school. Um, however, the game is playable. And I'm going to go through everything about what I've experienced with the game so far. All I've done is the tutorial. And I've got a couple of concerns. The first one is obviously the, the language barrier. I'm hoping upon full release. Because um, I think it's still in early access. Like it came out last month in early access. And it looks like they're still doing work on it. So hopefully upon full, full release. They will have translated it. So that non-German speaking people know what the hell's going on. Um, and the second thing is, it is a little bit on the finicky side of things. The It doesn't have controller support yet, not properly anyway, and the keyboard and mouse is very, very finicky and very, very precise, but I'll show you what that's about in a minute. Options-wise, not too bad. Uh, as you can see, they have got modding capability as well. You've got your controls here. Um, they look like they're rebindable, which is good. As you can see, it's got controller settings here but nothing's in i don't know whether if you put them in yourself or not it'll work i don't know but yeah like no real default controller support here um and apparently then there's no way of going back there you go uh graphics graphics wise there's a fair amount but it's also pretty basic um you don't get a huge amount of like properly good options here and interestingly they always put the mirror off like it's not even selected on which is a bit weird uh other settings you've got your sound and then you've got your play settings which is just your sensitivity and all that stuff so they, they've done all right but could be better honestly but let's jump in and i'll show you what the game's all about all right, here we are. This is Emergency Firefighter Simulation 2. Graphically, it's not bad. Like, the trucks and everything are very clear. The one thing I will say is driving the truck is a little bit weird. Um, apparently, we've even got meetings to attend, which is, you know... There is no voice either. It's just it, it comes up with these texts. And luckily, this is in English. Um, but during the tutorial, any voiceover bits were actually in German, which was a bit weird. Also, the volume was a bit off. Like, the speaker was really, really quiet at default, which was a bit... I mean, it was in German, so it didn't really make much difference to me. So, you get your objectives and you got things to do, and it does point where you need to go, which is good. Um, and then you you can basically just wander around and you, you get an alarm. And once the alarm's gone off, you do the thing. You do the firefighting thing. Um, the way that it works is when you get to an area, you have to use your tactical menu. And you've got to make sure you're wearing the right gear. And you've got to do it in the right order. And that's the thing. During the tutorial, I did make one mistake where I executed the wrong order first. And that was it. I couldn't do anything else after that. It wouldn't wouldn't let me go back it wouldn't let me redo it even though there was other bits in the the truck or whatever it wouldn't let me continue or it wouldn't let me progress which was a bit off-putting and obviously if you've never been a firefighter before you generally don't have a clue what's going on so yeah i you basically play like a, a chief you've got your your fire engines here doing all their things and when an alarm goes off you have to get in your truck and you've got to go and fight a fire it was really, yeah, it was, it was It's just finicky. It's really, really finicky. You've got to do, you've got to like go in and create a report after you've done it, which is kind of cool. However, a mini map of the building would be really, really nice. So when there is no fire, you've also got to do all your safety checks. You've got to check everything. You've got to go through everything. Uh, lights do indeed work. So, yeah, it's it's quite in-depth. And I like that. Uh, looks like all the lights are working. So we're going to go one. Yep, that's fine. 
Um, so yeah, it does give you stuff to do until you get that fire, which is is nice because otherwise you'd be sat around bored for a bit. So the fact that they give you things to do because it's it's based off a real time twenty four hours, I think. I think it's real time. Um, but yeah, you've got you've got twenty four hours of being on guard, and if something happens, you've got to go and do the thing. So yeah. I mean, it's very in-depth. You can't take away from the fact that this is one of the most in-depth games I think I've ever seen. Um, which is kind of cool. Uh, what am I doing? Close the side door. I would love to. I don't want it close. Okay. We're driving somewhere. I don't know where. I wasn't paying attention. Um... So yeah, you you it's a very 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 in-depth game. However, because it's so in-depth, it is very finicky. And finicky is a word I'm going to keep using. Am I getting out here? I think I'm getting out. <laughs> I don't know. Leave. Um it's weird as well. Like sometimes you're in third person, other times you're just not. And I don't know. It's just very odd. Like, you you can access everything. Literally everything in the vehicle. You can get everything out. You can put it all back in. You can access literally everything at any time, which is nice. So you can screw your entire team up if you wanted to. Um, but outside of that, like, unless you're really into this, like, if you're into a firefighter sim... This is probably everything you're going to ever want and need. If you're not into firefighting and if you're not into like really do it in this exact order at this time. I think you could find it quite tedious. Um, also the, the selection tools and showing you where you need to put it and stuff like that. Like to connect each of these up you've got to be precise with it and it doesn't give you doesn't give you a large window of error so like when i was doing the tutorial for example i was trying to connect the pieces up but it wouldn't let me because i'd put the piece in the wrong place on the floor if that even comprehends so it, it can again be finicky if you're trying to do anything um it'd be nice if it gave you constant stuff to do instead of oh, okay you've done this thing now we're just going to leave you until the alarm and then we'll give you something else to do to check and Stuff like that. Like, it would be cool if they gave you more to do. Or if you could maybe, I don't know, choose a role. Instead of being, like, the commander-in-chief, maybe you select what truck you want to work on. Whether you want to work on one of the cars, or if you want to work on the, the van, or the crane, or the big fire truck. Like, if you said, right, this is what I want to work on, and then you have to do all of the checks, because that would give you something more to do. And then you could switch roles if you wanted to with tab. As an idea, like just something that means that you're not kind of fumbling around trying to figure out what, if anything, it is that you need to do. Again, driving the truck isn't ideal either because you've got to use WAS and D because the controller doesn't seem to want to work. I don't know if I rebound the keys and made it so that I could do that. It would be easier, but yeah. I don't know. It, it seems a solid effort. But I think that you've got to be really, really, really into firefighter sims for it to be any good. And then you could probably forgive a lot of the controller issues and the the nature of it and the, the very pedantic side of it. And also, for the love of God, please transform it. Please, please translate it into English on all the text and stuff. Because it would just make my life a lot easier when I'm trying to figure out what we're doing. But yeah, I I wish I could show you a bit more gameplay. Although the crane looks kind of cool when you watch it doing its thing. Um, but yeah, you've got your different types of uh, chemicals as well, so you can select what sort of fire you're you're going to be fight fighting. You can select which is best for the course, and by the look of it, it tells you which one you want to do. So you can learn as the on-screen prompts seem on all the time. But there you go, guys. This is. Emergency 112 Firefighter Simulation 2. 
There is a lot of bad clipping with this as well, which probably could do with a little bit more work. Um, it came out on Steam last month. I think it's still in early access. I think they've got a decent roadmap. Feel free to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this a game that you would have the patience for, yay or nay? And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.